Hey guys, uh, it's me Manny here. Um, today I want to be showing you guys a uh, quick uh, video of my new plugin I just made called the Lego Generator. Now, Manny, what does this do? What does the Lego Generator do? So, what this does is that it turns your models into Legos. In which I thought this idea because of this one thing that um, Frank did with the CD4D, which he made a plugin in which it made randomly generated of Lego pieces from like a little ship or something. Which I thought, what if I want to do this in Roblox? And so, me and Azink did, thanks to him for making the UI and everything and some of the coding. And so I made a little guide here if you guys don't know how to do it, in which I'm just going to show you guys the right way. So, for example, I have these three parts. Which they have different materials and transparencies and reflections. So I can show you guys if I'll customize what you can do this with. Alright, so I'm in here now. In the Lego generator. I, I want to create a folder here. So I could actually place the models into the folder. Which I've already did right here as you can see. And so after that, you drag in the parts or slash models. You want to add into it. Into the folder. And once you've done that, you press create Legos. Now what this would do is that it will show you how many parts you have made. And it will be transmitted to Legos. So if you want to continue, you can press agree. If you don't, disagree. So I'm just going to press agree. And as you can see now, they're now turned into Legos. In which these are actually separate Lego pieces. So I just could take this off right here. Or something like that. Or if I want to do this for fun, this would probably lag my game so bad. I'll just make these un 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 unanchored, and when I run it, it will do that, which I think would be kind of fun, actually. Hold up. See here. Yeah, see, like, they all stacked up like that, like that, and so, looks like it's about to, yep, it's tipping over. Ah! What if I get a sign, like this, for example? Uh, it won't import the, the surface GUI. Because I think that'll be pretty hard to do if I try implementing this here. So I'm just gonna go here, and it did not turn into Legos. Why did it do that? Hmm, that's weird. Sometimes, sometimes your mesh, your sometimes your parts don't import if they are too if they are too skinny, which will kind of make it mess up. And so I have made it a lot more bigger, and there you go. Look at that! It turned into Legos. Now it's kind of, kind of wonky. But yeah, you get the point. It actually generates it for you. So look, look at this Among Us guy right here. What if I want to turn him into a Lego? This will probably not work. <laughs> but what if I just want to turn him into a Lego? What would happen? Let's find out. But yeah, he would just turn into. A <laughs> Just a big, a little big block of brick of Lego bricks, because mesh parts don't work yet, because I haven't really programmed that part yet. Let's see if I want to turn this guy into bricks. So I'm just gonna scale him a bit, drag him into the folder, and then start creating it. And there you go, it has done it. But it's kind of still messed up because I cannot make any more like the same good size to make it fit for that because. I think that's just how that was. But yeah, that, that's probably much about it of what this does. So if you guys want to have this plugin, it'll be a link in the description or a pop-up on the end screen. But yeah, uh, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and go check out this thing.